Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm Andy Ross, pastor at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. And wherever you are in the country, I hope this is a little message of encouragement for you. And I also, I keep forgetting to say this, if, if this little devotional thought is encouraging to you, it might be for someone else. And so forward it. Send the link to someone you know. But anyway, it's Tuesday, and uh, I want you to think about signing here. Can you sign here? <laughs> think about all the things you sign your name to. Sometimes it's something pretty small at a post office. Sometimes it's a marriage contract, a baptismal certificate. In our schedule of scripture readings from the Common Lectionary, we have been reading uh, in the book of Nehemiah, just a wonderful story. And the people of Israel have been graciously allowed back into Jerusalem to rebuild the city and also rebuild their lives and their life with God. And in our reading today uh, from Nehemiah, um, we see this scene in which um, the people understand that God is gracious. It's his steadfast love. That's the only uh, answer as to why they've been allowed to come back out of exile, captivity, and to begin to develop their home again. They call out, God, you are an awesome God. You are a God of steadfast love. And listen to this, you keep covenant. You keep covenant. God, you keep your end of the bargain. You always do. And then they write about how you have been righteous in all that's come upon us. You have dealt faithfully, even though we have acted wickedly. Um, and so they ask for God's help. And then look what they do at the end of Nehemiah chapter 9. Because of all this, we make a firm commitment in writing on the sealed document are the names of our princes, our Levites, and our priests. In modern American Christianity, there has been a trend to downplay church membership. Just come and be in worship. Um, uh, just come and express your faith to God. And absolutely, that is the center of our identity, our new identity in Christ. And sometimes people ask me as a Presbyterian, why, why do I have to join a church? Why do I have to take a membership class? Well, you don't have to. <laughs> we twist no one's arms at Northminster. But church membership is a spiritual commitment to the body of Christ that is so meaningful. You make a commitment when you join the church that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and you make a commitment to one another as you experience baptism. It's a cleansing of God's grace, but it's also a covenant with the family of God as they make expressions and promises to you. Church membership is a spiritual expression of dedication, commitment. On this Tuesday, think about the things you sign your name for, the commitments you make, and how are you living with great joy and thankfulness your dedication and commitment to your church family, right? And if you don't have a church family, let's talk. You're invited to join us at Northminster Church uh, on Sunday mornings to learn and grow in God's grace. And yes, if God's leading you to become a member of our church family as we commit ourselves to one another in the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Lord's blessings to you.